know that you are. Nobody needs to come and tell you, hey, Johnny, hey, Britta, hey, Hilde, hey, you are, you exist. No kidding. I know I am. I don't need anybody to tell me that. Then you get to 12, 13, 14, your body goes through puberty. So now your body is shifting and changing, it's growing and it's shaping, but the sense of I am, the sense of being, existing, remains the same. Then you're 18, 19 years old, you're going to college, or you know, you're doing what 18, 19 year old, 20 year olds do. What do they do? You know, going to school, da 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 da, the rest of the time, you're partying, or you're doing sports, or your, your interests change. You're no longer interested in toys, you're interested in boys and girls. Your hormones changed. Now you're taking care of yourself, you want to look good, you want to look cool, you want to look happening. So boys or girls look at you. It's a natural phenomenon is happening. I'm not saying it's good or bad. It's cultural right now. But the sense of I am is still there. This is not an emotion. It's a sense of being. You're in your 30s, whatever. You're thinking about getting married. You're thinking about career. Your sense of I am, sense of being, is still the same. Let's say you get older, maybe you're going through a major heartbreak. Your heart's broken, you're really sad, whatever. Either you lost your love or some accident, something happened. The sense of I am is still remains the same sense of I am as you were five years old. It's still here. That doesn't change. There is still a witness inside you witnessing your emotional ups and downs, witnessing your life, witnessing events. There's a witness there. That witness is, things gets reported to the witness. That remains the same. Then you're starting getting older, your body starts, you know, let's say you're 50, 60, 70 years old, the hair starts getting gray, face starts changing, eyes not seeing as well, body mal malfunction starts to happen. Every day is a new story. You're getting older. You're aging. You're calmer, you're more mature, you've changed, your personality maybe changed, your emotions maybe now. You have some kind of control over your emotions. You're not as fiery as you were. You're wiser, you're more mature. But the sense, and the body is getting older, but the sense of I am, the sense of the, the witness, remains the same witness. It doesn't change. It's not a different witness. It's the same witness it was before. The sense of I am remains the same sense of I am as all of your life. Everything else is changing. Then, you know, let's say you're at your last stage of your life. You're thinking about passing on. You're thinking about writing a will. You know, you feel like, okay, I'm coming to an end. Let me finish up the business here on this planet. But the sense of I am remains the same sense of I am as it was before. Nothing changes. The witness is still a witness. You're still witnessing. And you say, oh, I remember I used to look younger. I was stronger. I used to do this. I used to do that. The I am remains the I am. The witness doesn't change. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help you to recognize I am, to recognize the witness. 
And the more your attention goes towards the witness, towards I am, the more you become free, the more you get expanded. Because you're shifting from who you thought you were to who you really are. Who you really are is I am. Not I am this, not I am that. So the more you begin to notice that, in, in other words, your vibration starts to rise to a higher frequency, you're coming to the 5D quantum awareness. You're coming to this other awareness of the I am, not I am this or I am that. And then you start to see you're free and you're happy because your happiness is not depending on circumstances. You're, recognition, you're recognizing the I am. And I am is present. It doesn't have emotions. It doesn't have thoughts. It doesn't have ups and downs. It's free from all of it. And the quality of your life changes extremely. Yet, the outside world remains the outside world. But you're not affected by it because you have a horizon above it. And you're not concerning yourself about the outside world because it's not your business. Don't get involved with the outside world at all. Leave it alone. Doesn't matter what is going on, whether it's righteous or not righteous. Leave the outside world alone. Don't get involved with it. If you want to be free, if you want to suffer, keep going after the outside world. You're doing a good job. Keep, keep, the, keep on the, co the course. It only brings you suffering. That's all it's going to do. It's, not, it's never going to make you free. Very good. I want to thank you all for we've come to the end of our academy time. Uh, a couple of announcements. Uh, we will be having our next academy next Wednesday, same time. Um, the recording of this academy will be mailed to you. You can uh, find a lot of my uh, uh, videos on my, uh, or pretty much all of them on uh, my YouTube channel. It's Zaratustra 5D. My podcast is Zaratustra 5D, uh, as well as the Facebook and Twitter. Um, we uh, have a couple of events coming. On September 10th, I'm going to have a shamanic healing circle. It's a two-hour event. Uh, you're welcome to register if you want to join me. I will be doing some shamanic healing. It is powerful. Those of you who've been with me before, you know, uh, you have experienced that uh, it's almost as if, or it's very much similar to as if we've been, we are together in the same room. It's powerful energy and it gets transmitted. Uh, followed by a two-day workshop I'm going to have this workshop about 5D quantum awareness, the direct experience. What is the direct experience of the fifth dimensional quantum awareness? And in that workshop, uh, that's the aim of the workshop, to help you have a direct experience of your fifth dimensional self and tapping into the 5D quantum awareness, giving you the tools and exercises. Um, registration is open. You can go through my website. My website is zaratustra.tv and you go to the programs and you can, to the calendar, click on the event and you can register there. I also uh, have room for two students that I would be taking in the month of September for my uh, VIP tailor-made uh, 
program which is called Life Training Program. Uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching program that I have created this year, and it's to help you for those uh, serious students who want to advance their their process and work on their spirituality, and they need one-on-one -on -one help. I have room to, uh, to take two students. Um, so feel free to write to me. Uh, my uh, email is uh, info at zaratustra.tv and we'll make an appointment for you and then we'll have a consultation and we'll go on from there. Very good. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Much blessings. Namaste.